hello everyone so today we are going to start working on this uh, search light system so as you can see here you can see the search lights are rotating around and sweeping the area uh, at the moment uh, I haven't implemented any useful functionality other than just being visually present in the map uh, but later on we will implement a way to like when the searchlight hit an enemy it will alert cause other nearby enemies to alert and the search uh, light controlling enemy will keep following the player with the light so we will implement such systems but first let's set up this searchlight system today Alright, so to implement a search light, I have created some models. So this is the simple search light model and this is the handle of that. So the reason that I have uh, created it as uh, two parts instead of uh, one single skeletal mesh with, the, with some bones to rotate uh, this search light is because I want it to rotate through the code so I would keep this simple and also I have this platform this simple platform I'm gonna set up the search light on top of that and perhaps put an so I put some enemy also here okay so now uh, first let me put this platform over here this scale I think it should be fine yeah and then I have created this folder search light inside the blueprint so here I'm gonna create a blueprint blueprint class actor pp search light right now let me open that and First, I need to figure out the scale. So, let me place the searchlight here. So, this is too big. Perhaps half the size. Let's see. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, this size is fine. Okay. Point three. So, now I'll first. Add the searchlight base here. Set the scale to 0.3, and then the base of the searchlight under the searchlight base. Uh, uh, this should be one. So it matches the scales. Right. Let me go to the right view. Okay. Right, so now the search light I will rotate it in this axis and the base I will can rotate this way. So that's why I wanted to keep it as two components. Okay, now the light. So this is the glass. I'll make it some emissive light to the four pack let's make it on lit so light color
could be something like this. Now let me place this BP search light on top of this platform. Okay, now this is not enough. We need to see some actual light from it. So for that, we will need a spot light. Oh, this is rotated search light. So that means this should be facing the other way. Here under import settings, since I have the source, restore uh, import. Now it's facing the correct direction. Right now the light. So light has to be in the middle. this so it doesn't have to be this white so we can change 10 will this work yeah radius 3000 mm. let me make it look down why am i not seeing any light okay so we might need Actually, it does affect this area, but it's not sharp enough. So, we should further reduce. It's too wide. A little bit, not much. Fifty thousand. Ah, now we can see a clear light. So if we had a fog in the level, do we have a? Oh, we do have exponential height fog here. Let me enable this volumetric fog, 
and still we don't see much let's see here what if I increase this volumetric scattering intensity yeah oh I saw something 50 yeah now I can see the light a little bit not much mm. yeah now it's very clear let's try 100 yeah it's better and also this depends on the fog density as well yeah see all right so now let's see okay so now we can see the light it's not rotating or anything it's just there now let's uh, implement a way to make this searchlight uh, rotate so how can we do that um let's see uh for the base minus 40 plus 40 so let's rotate the base in between minus 40 and plus 40 and the search light minus 30 and maybe minus 20 right here get the base hmm let's add a custom image um rotate base so here i'll use move component too because i'm gonna use this target relative rotation i'm not gonna change and make any changes to the moment i only need to use this and here we can give over time let's say 20 seconds so it's very convenient to use this node that's what I, why I am using this so initially see everything is zero location wise and rotation wise also it's zero uh, as I said I'll first rotate to minus 40 oh sorry here minus 40 over 20 seconds and then I'll do the same thing until plus 40 over 40 seconds no 20 seconds for shoulders rotation is in is out let's enable it and see and after this again let's call rotate now i think we should have some delay in between so delay for five seconds here also it's better to have a delay and again call update this now i'll call rotate base here in the begin play right now if i play the game now you see it's moving
ओके नाउ जस्ट लाइक दैट वी कैन एट सम मोमेंट टू द सच लाइट एस वेल सो वन अदर कस्टम इवेंट ओके लाइट so for the light i only want to change the pitch just like here therefore let me duplicate the same setup and as the component i lose such light i think we do have a offset yeah so get and here minus 30 so minus 35 to 25 let's use that range Again, call rotate light. Let me reduce this because I kind of felt it's too slow. Let's sit over here. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. Now we have a, this uh, searchlight, but it doesn't do anything other than just looking around later on i am planning to implement some system when the searchlight uh, detect the player it should follow the player like keep pointing at the player so other enemies will be alerted and they will also start noticing the player detecting the player and shoot at it so that's what i'm planning to do with this system so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye